Senator David Perdue, Republican from Georgia, uh, as uh, as I have been mentioning over and over and over here on uh, this podcast, um, uh, decided to skip. Uh, so he skipped the debate. So he decided to skip the debate um, against uh, Democrat John Ossoff who is a CEO of a media company that investigates corruption and all kinds of things for international uh, crime or whatever it is. And um, it's weird because he's also corrupt, so it's pretty pretty ironic that he founded that. Um, and David Perdue is a uh, founder of Perdue & Partners, a global trading company. And uh, he served on his own board or whatever it was in, in various companies before he served uh, started serving in 2015. So as I said... Uh, both corrupt, but David Perdue decided after he got smacked the crap out of a round of uh, smacked around uh, in the first debate, uh, it was a shitstorm for him by John Ossoff, who is a corrupt piece of crap himself, um, decided to skip the second debate because he's like, nah, I'm good. But now in this runoff debate, he decided to skip it. I'd like to show you uh, what kind of coward he is and uh, why I think uh, John Ossoff did really good in this part. So it's a, a strange situation to be asking a question of a sitting United States senator who is not here to debate as he asks for the votes of the people to be reelected. Senator Perdue, I suppose, doesn't feel that he can handle himself in debate or perhaps is concerned that he may incriminate himself in debate both of which, in my opinion, are disqualifying for a U.S. senator seeking re-election. He may not wish to be asked questions, for example, about his trades in Regions Bank while he championed legislation to benefit the firm or his trading of defense contractor stocks while he directed taxpayer dollars to them. But whatever the reason that Senator Perdue is not with us today, I think what I would ask him is why he continues to oppose $1,200 stimulus checks for the American people at this moment of crisis. If I had the opportunity to ask the senator a question, if the senator were not too much of a coward to debate in public, then that's what I'd ask him. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Mm. My favorite part is going to come at the end. I have to, I, I kind of want to say it, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save it. So I think he's right. Hey, why aren't you here, man? Come on, Dave. Let's use this Dr. Pepper from Sonic as an empty podium. Where are you, dude? Come on. We'll put it, we'll put, we'll put it over here. Okay? Come on. There's no one there. He had to stand side by side by an empty podium. All right, dude. Where the hell are you? Come on, man. Get over here. Debate me. Now, he mentions a couple things here. Hey, maybe he doesn't want to come over here because I'm going to ask him questions like, uh, questions like, um, hey, why is it that uh, you um, uh, uh, are a part of a trading comp uh, of a banking firm, Region Region Bank, and you uh, Regions Bank, whatever it's called, and then you uh, you you kind of created you created legislation to give them tax cuts and a bunch of loosened regulations. You deregulated them, and then um, uh, so that's that's one thing. Also, uh, so why are you for the bankers and not the American people and not Georgians here in Georgia? And then uh, uh, why, why is it that um, you then traded stock from defense contractors as a congressperson, as a, as a, as a, a senator, a, a member of Congress? Why did you do that? that? Those are all good questions you could ask him if he ever showed up to the debates. Right, and I'm gonna get to why he didn't show up, and it'll be my last comment. Um, maybe who knows? I always go on, but uh, he also said, "Okay, well, here's what else I would ask him: um, Why do you oppose $1,200 stimulus checks?" That's also a good question. Now, when the Republicans gave that $4.25 trillion along with the Democrats, again, AOC lied for them, so I'm gonna bring it up. They, she lied for them, even though they passed it in the House. But when he helped uh, David Perdue passed it in the uh, helped pass it in the Senate. When he passed it in the Senate, he gave four point two five trillion dollars to Repub to to <laughs> yeah to many of the Republicans who own businesses, but to the businesses including Regions Bank, including the defense contractors that he traded stocks with and uh, um, for and, and 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 sold and all kinds of things like that. Um, after that, when Trump actually wanted to do stimulus checks uh, and Nancy Pelosi held it up, um, 
Now Trump projected the two point two trillion. Uh, uh, so you know he basically um, him and John Thune and Mitch McConnell and t- pretty much Pat, Pat Toomey, everybody else. Uh, John Cornyn said, no, we can't give you any more money for the American people. No more stimulus checks because of the debt. Oh, my God, Mr. President, the debt, the debt, the debt. (laughs) Yeah, okay, so he worried about the debt, and now he's – but he wasn't worried about it before when he was getting his company buddies rich and uh, and a bunch of the companies that he owns rich, and then he got rich off of that uh, massive bailout for Wall Street and the big banks and the corporations. So, again – why does he oppose that twelve hundred dollars? Don't you want to support Georgians? Don't you want to help them get back on their feet? Uh, um, don't you want to stop them from getting evicted? Don't you want to stop them from losing their health care? Don't you at least want to give them some kind of peace of mind? No, you don't. Okay. Now the question I would ask for John Ossoff is: Why do you? Why are you against two thousand dollars? Why are you against the Green New Deal? Why are you against Medicare for uh, Medicare for all? Why are you against housing for all? Why are you? Why are you against jobs for all? Why are you? Why are you against uh, legalizing marijuana, which we're going to go over too? Um, when that, those are all economic issues, bread and butter issues that you're against that would help the American people and would help Georgians. Why are you against all of those, John Ossoff? It's because you're a corrupt piece of crap yourself. So uh, yes, that's the thing is that I would ask the same question if I was David Perdue, but David per- David Perdue doesn't. I always say David, but David Perdue doesn't uh, doesn't doesn't um, accept those kinds of policies either. He doesn't like them, so of course he's not going to ask him those questions. Now I <laughs> love when Democrats use strong language. Why are you such a coward, dumbass? Come on, bitch. Why are you a coward, huh? Come on, you coward. I love that when he says I'd ask him that, but he wants to be such a coward and not debate in public. Maybe he doesn't want to incriminate himself. Maybe I, because I'm going to ask him about his banking records. Maybe uh, you know his record on bankers. Maybe I'm going to ask him about the stocks he traded uh, from uh, defense contracting stocks and de- from def- of of defense contractors. Maybe I'm going to ask him why he doesn't support twelve hundred dollars in payments to Americans. I think we should do two uh, two thousand dollar payments. That's what he should say. I, that's what I think we should do. Uh, UBI two thousand dollars. But there you go. Oh, I love it. As soon as I heard, maybe because he's too much of a coward to debate in public, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, finally, a Democrat using strong language. Now, he's not going to continue that. But as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, that's awesome. So, again, David Perdue skips the debate. I just thought I would make this and, and kind of show you exactly why uh, David Perdue should lose this election.